Hello, this is Father Bill Watson, and this is a question for our YouTube channel, Ask Father Bill. We're looking at the issue of a discerning life. And I'd like to look at the issue briefly of discernment and sexuality. On the Feast of the Holy Trinity, we celebrate the mystery of the three distinct persons who are one due to love given and received freely. Humankind is made in the image of this mysterious divinity, but we know we were made in love and for love. We, made in the image and likeness of the Holy Trinity, are made for relationships with God and other people. How beautiful. Of all the disastrous consequences of original sin, death and the loss of eternal life is the gravest. But a close second on this side of eternity is the profound challenge sin has caused in the area of human relationship, which is captured in, but not exclusive to, human sexuality. As a priest for many decades, it's common for me to hear penitents always begin confession with their sexual sins. I think this is the case because people feel shame about the loss of control over their actions. Tradition calls this loss of control concupiscence. 2515 in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, it says this, Etymologically, concupiscence can refer to any intense form of human desire. Christian theology has given as a particular meaning the movement of the sensitive appetite contrary to the operation of human reason. The Apostle St. Paul identifies it with the rebellion of the flesh, against the spirit. Concupiscence stems from the disobedience of the first sin. It unsettles man's moral faculties and without being in itself an offense, inclines man to commit sins. A constructive way to proceed with the discerning life then is to know that concupiscence will manifest in our lives and create complications around relationships and around human sexuality. That is, as the Catechism of the Catholic Church states, contrary to human reason. While you don't want to consciously entertain fantasies that are contrary to human reason, you do want to ask God why you are having them and what they might mean so that you can gain self-control and mastery over them. Sexual temptations arise from our history and are linked to the narrative of our stories. Anyone who wants to live life in the context of faith will confront unreasonable appetites and temptations and sometimes be ashamed by them. When you move from noticing them to praying for insight and interior freedom to resist them without shame, without being overwhelmed by shame, then you start living a discerning life. And I hope that helps. 